Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of go on a side tangent here. Uh, I've noticed a lot of headlines popping up lately about the people getting laid off from tech and the people getting laid off in the entertainment industry and the macroeconomic headwinds. And, uh, you know, those of you who know me know I'm a numbers guy. So I like to look at the numbers, right? I like to look at what is going on in the big picture. And the big picture is that meritocracy is returning. Nature is healing. Um, and look, I want to be very clear. And I want to be very clear before I go any further with this video. Uh, I do believe talented, skilled professionals can come in any shape, size, color, gender, political affiliation, religion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. That being said, there is no more room for people that don't perform. And I think that the layoffs are actually more severe than they normally would have been because all of these companies are taking the opportunity to course correct. They realize that they have hired a bunch of people that are not talented that are not necessary. They've created positions that are not necessary uh, to hit certain check boxes. Now that the free money has run out, uh, now we've realized that like, oh, hey, yeah, we hired a whole bunch of these people and we don't really need them. So now we're gonna let them go because they really don't bring anything to the company. They were basically just here to tick off a check box and now we have to go back to being profitable. So what is going to happen is the media is going to sensationalize this and make it out like, uh, you know, people of color or gay people or whatever are being disproportionately affected. Um, and that would be the case if they were hired solely based on their identity and not on their skill set. Talented people will always be in demand. Talented people are always going to be in demand. And even if you get laid off from your company, especially if you work in tech or something like that. If you're talented, you'll be fine. You'll be able to go out and start your own business or you'll be able to freelance to get you by. You'll find another job at another company. You know, if you're not talented, you're in for a very rude awakening. And we're going to see a lot of this, again, not just in tech, but also entertainment, that there were a lot of people in the last couple of years, especially, that were hired who weren't necessarily talented and they were just kind of taking up space because we needed to have them there, you know, to, to take off those check boxes. Again, going back to that uh, adult daycare, the adult daycare uh, mentality. And we did a video a couple of days ago talking about Facebook and how they've had people that they've hired for $190,000 a year that did literally nothing. And I think you have Elon Musk to blame or thank for all of this because he went into Twitter, took a look around, and this is the kind of stuff he saw, right? This is the kind of stuff he saw. This is what you're supposed to be doing on weekends, guys, weekends. Uh, this is the kind of stuff he saw, and he said, yeah, hey, you know what? Um, we don't need this in the company. We're supposed to be working. And, you know, if you're actually coding, if you're actually doing work, your job will be fine. Now, we've also seen the opposite happen because of all these, um, you know, diversity and inclusion efforts that talented people have been overlooked because they weren't the right kinds of people, um, you know, and I think we're going to see a course correction. I think meritocracy is back. We're going to see it in comics. We're going to see it in animation. Um, if you perform and you sell and your stuff sells, you'll be fine. Like there's really nothing to fear from this layoff if you're a truly skilled, talented person. And again, you can be any gender, you can be any color, you can be any religion, any sexual orientation. If you are skilled, I think you'll be fine. If you are not skilled, if you were simply hired to fill a seat because that's what the company had to do to get some venture capital... Well, then you might be fucked. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying. But you would have been normally anyway. This is the return to meritocracy. We're going to talk about this a little bit more. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And Rants Guy has almost 300,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. 
I'm seeing a lot of headlines like this, a lot of headlines like this. Uh, DEI teams hit by tech layoffs, a lesson to be learned. So basically, there were entire teams put together for diversity and inclusion initiatives and the listings for those kind of jobs. And this is last month. They're down 19%. Why are companies targeting their DEI teams? Why have they turned away from their commitment to DEI initiatives? And what impact is this going to have on the businesses? Let's find out. Um, no, I can tell you what impact it's going to have. They're probably going to be more profitable because they're going to hire the most skilled, most talented people, regardless of their gender, sexual orientation, skin color, etc. But of course, the media is going to run with they're undoing all the positive progress that these companies have made since this time, since 2020, since BLM. This is a concern. Moreover, many DEI departments that are still operational are already seeing cutbacks, and all this comes at a huge price for many aspects of a business. They put these teams together because they thought they were going to get venture capital, and it's very clear that they're not. And now they're on their own, and now they have to be profitable. So guess what? We're doing what we did for decades, for centuries even. We're hiring qualified people who can do the job. Um. For one thing, going back on a promise to nurture diversity is going to have a big impact on an organization's employer brand. Not anymore. Do you want the truth? Not anymore. Uh, I think people have realized that Twitter is not a real place. I think people have realized that even normies have seen that uh, companies have gotten stupid with some of these hiring practices where they're not hiring people who are qualified. They're hiring based solely on checkboxes. And again, I want to reiterate for YouTube, for the people watching the videos on YouTube, because I know they watch us, talented people come in all shapes, sizes, genders, sexual orientations, religions, um, personal beliefs, uh, everything, everything, Uh, abilities, talented people uh, come in all varieties, talented people of all varieties, talented people of all varieties uh, need to be elevated And fewer stupid people and waste of space need to be hired. And again, stupid people come in all shapes, genders, varieties, sizes, sexual orientations, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea, right? But we lived in a very stupid age where there was stupid monopoly money flowing and people were being hired uh, for the wrong reasons. And a lot of them were not skilled. A lot of them, I kind of wonder, like with Facebook, uh, with Facebook, I wonder if they were hiring these people, paying them $190,000 a year to do nothing because they knew that they didn't bring any value, (laughs) you know, really, but they had to be there. Like they were basically tax write-offs, but we're seeing it. Like what, pay attention, pay attention to the people who are getting gone from these companies. Pay attention to the divisions getting cut. Look at Netflix. The very first shows that Netflix cut were shows that would appeal to Tumblr effectively, Um, They were cartoon shows that would have appealed to Tumblr or very, very small audiences. And they quietly canceled a lot of these shows. And of course, there was outrage on Twitter, which lasted about two days and people got over it. What is happening is we're seeing a return to meritocracy. And I, I, again, I was kind of freaking out by all the tech layoffs and all the Hollywood layoffs and all of this. Every company is doing this right now. Disney is doing this. They're getting rid of dead weight or they're getting rid of people that are problematic. In the case of like Ike Perlmutter, they didn't want to deal with them. They're also getting rid of people that are too expensive, um, you know, and they're bringing people back. Disney, Disney is bringing back Imagineers that left the company in like 2016. Straight white guys, by the way. Uh, Not that it matters, but I'm just saying, like they're bringing them back now because they realize the people they hired, the people they hired are not bringing it. They're not bringing revenue to the company. If you have value to your company, you'll be fine. If you're on your own and you're skilled, you'll be fine. Uh, The rest of these people, the rest of these people that have been hired over the last couple of years, again, just to fill a quota, they're they're probably not going to be fine. And they know it. And this is why they're getting their friends in the media to write articles. In many cases, that it is the media. Because a lot of these journos know that they're living on borrowed time. A lot of these websites, the revenue is down significantly. And they know that it's a matter of time until they get chopped and or replaced with AI because there are too many damn websites. Again, all this stuff popped up out of a surplus of money. When the economy is good, and again, 
bitching about Trump all you want. The economy was good during the Trump years. Uh, this is luxury. This is what, what happens. Okay. And it's being undone. And we're basically going to roll things back about 10, 12, 15 years. And you're going to, you know, be expected to work. And as long as you work and you're good, you'll be fine. Uh, that, that, that's what I'm trying to get across here because there is a lot of panic. Everybody's like, oh my God, everything's burning. No, uh, the dead brush, the dead debris, the companies that were never going to make it anyway, um, the workers who were never going to make it anyway, uh, all of these things are being burned away and we're going to be left with meritocracy and uh, a much leaner, meaner, uh, more focused, more profitable tech sector, a meaner, leaner, more profitable entertainment business. The comic book business is going to be much, much leaner. It's already pretty lean. And I think we're going to realize that there are a lot of uh, publications and companies in the comic book industry that could not exist and would not affect the bottom line at all. And I think we're going to see a lot of them be dissipated. I think Comixology kind of got snapped because it really didn't bring much overall to the table for Amazon. So just just watch, watch this space is what I'm saying. This is fine. We have to have a forest fire every once in a while to correct huge mistakes. In this case, we had an abundance of unqualified people getting paid ridiculous wages to work ridiculous made up jobs and it's now ending. So that's my happy thought for the day, I guess. I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants and we'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.